welcome back to GM Academy. Okay, let's have the differentiation of the inverse hyperbolic functions. Okay, the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic sine of u is equal to 1 all over the square root of 1 plus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, then the derivative of the hyper the inverse hyperbolic cosine u is equal to 1 all over the square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x. Then the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent u is equal to 1 all over 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. Then, uh, the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic cotangent u is equal to 1 all over 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. Then, we also have the derivative of the inverse secant, the, the inverse hyperbolic secant of u is equal to negative 1 all over u times the square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. And lastly, we have the derivative of the inverse cosecant u with respect to x is equal to negative 1 all over the absolute value of u times the square root of 1 plus u square times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so to understand more about the uh, differentiation of inverse hyperbolic functions we have let's answer this problem okay our function of y is equal to the inverse hyperbolic sine of 3x square okay so let u be equal to 3x square then our function of y now will be the inverse hyperbolic sine of Okay, we have the derivative of y with respect to x using the chain rule. This one is also equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so this is equal to d over du of y, which is the, hyper, the inverse hyperbolic sine u times the d over dx of u, which is 3x square. Okay, so we have now the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic sine u is equal to 1 all over the square root of 1 plus u square. Multiplied by the derivative of 3x squared is 6x. Okay, to simplify this, we have 6x, that's 1 times 6x, all over the square root of 1 minus u, that is 3x squared squared, or rather plus x squared square okay so to simplify our derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 6x all over the square root of 1 plus 9x raised to 4 okay so again this is the derivative of y with respect to x Okay, so this is the derivative. Okay, next problem. Our function of y is equal to 6 hyperbolic, uh, inverse hyperbolic cosine of x plus 3. Okay, so let u be equal to x plus 3. Okay, then our function of y now will be y is equal to 6 times the inverse hyperbolic cosine u. 
Okay, so we have the derivative of y with respect to x using chain rule is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so let us substitute now the function of y, which is 6 inverse hyperbolic cosine u multiplied by the derivative of u, which is x plus 3. Okay, so we have dy over dx is equal to 6 multiplied by the derivative of inverse hyperbolic cosine uh, u that is equal to 1 all over the square root of u square minus 1. Okay, multiplied by the derivative of x plus 3 that is 1. Okay, so to simplify that is 6 all over the square root of u, which is u is the x plus 3, quantity square, minus 1. Okay, so we have derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 6 all over the square root of. Okay, let us take the square root of x plus 3. That is x square plus 6x plus 9, then minus 1. Okay, so therefore, uh, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 6 all over the square root of x square plus 6x plus 8. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, so let's solve another problem. Okay, we have function of y is equal to 2x multiplied by the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1. Okay, so our main solution for this is by the product rule, which is v du plus u dv. We will let u be equal to 2x. And we will let v be equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1. Okay, so dy over dx is equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 multiplied by the d over dx of 2x plus u 2x times the d over dx of the d over dx of hyperbolic inverse tangent of 3x plus 1. Okay, so this is equal to the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of 2x, that is 2, plus 2x, multiplied by, so another chain rule for this one, d over du of the hyperbolic inverse tangent u times d over dx of 3x plus 1. Okay, so let us multiply this. We have 2, the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 plus 2x. Okay, the, the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic tangent u is 1 all over... 1 minus u square times the derivative of 3x plus 1, that is 3. Okay, so let's check. 
this is 1 all over 1 minus u square. Okay, so we have dy over dx is equal to 2 times the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 plus. Okay, so let us multiply this one. We have 6x all over 1 minus u. That is 3x plus 1 square. Okay, so let us simplify this one. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to 2 times the inverse tangent or the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 plus 6x all over 1 minus, let us square the 3x plus 1, we have 9x square plus 6x plus 1. Okay, so this is equal to 2 inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 plus 6x all over 9x square minus 6x okay minus 6x because 1 minus 1 is 0 okay or we have the dy over dx is equal to if we're going to combine this two we have negative 9x square minus 6x okay we have 2 times negative 9x square minus 6x times the inverse hyperbolic tangent of 3x plus 1 plus 6x okay okay there we go so this is again our derivative of y with respect to x either of the two okay thank you for watching